Reds taking on the Mets. John Neese making his season debut after a brief stint on the DL. And Alfredo Simon making his first start since September of 2011 for the Reds. Neese was sharp early on. Top of the first, he fans Joey Votto. Then in the second, he strikes out Ryan Ludwig. Bottom two, Saturday's hero Ike Davis steps in with one out and no one on. Davis staying hot. He hits one to the corner in left field and is able to leg out a double. So now there's a man in scoring position for the next batter, Juan Lagares, and he singles into left field. Davis is able to score easily, and the Mets are in business. Amazon's in front, one to nothing. Simon would start to settle in after that, though. Bottom three, he strikes out Ruben Tejada swinging. Then later in the frame, now two men in scoring position. He strikes out Daniel Murphy. Then he sits down David Wright. Simon striking out the side in the bottom of the third. Top six, still 1-0 Mets. Nice in some trouble. Bases loaded, no one out facing the dangerous Votto, who gives one a ride to left, but it's caught. That is deep enough to allow Simon to tag and score from third, and that ties the game up at one for Cincinnati. Now there's men on the corners for the next battle, Ryan Ludwig. Hit toward left, and a base hit for Ludwig. That will touch the plate for Chris Heisey. That will give the Reds a 2-1 to one lead. Ludwig comes through in the clutch, his second RBI of the year. Reds moving in front, bottom nine. Cincinnati still without regular closer, Aroldis Chapman. Manny Parra on, trying to complete the six-out save. Davis at the plate with a chance to be the hero again. Got him. Reds win. Nice job by Manny Parra. And the Reds are a 2-1 to one winner over the Mets. Cincinnati gets the win. First career save for Parra. Daniel Murphy lost a career-high 14-game hitting streak that dated back to last season. And Simon gets the win, going seven innings, allowing just one run on four hits with six Ks.